what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Stacy Dash has announced that she and the dude she's married to, who she called her husband, are splitting. They are getting a divorce. This family makes the fourth divorce for Stacy. Stacy can't get right. Is there any surprise? She met the dude and married him. After knowing him, for a grand total of 10 days. Is it any wonder why it didn't work out? Now you go back through her other marriages. First time she was married back in the late 90s for about five years. Then she was married for one year. Then she was married for two years, and now she's two years again. Stacy can't get right. This is for all you dudes out there who look at a pretty face and a nice button and think, yeah, I like that. I, I like to marry her. I'll marry her. Some of y'all are married. Some of y'all right now, you know, I show you the picture. You're, you're lusting, thirsty. Just no damn self-esteem whatsoever. Who raised you? What about character? What about integrity? Stacy Dash is a sellout if I've ever seen one. She's all about the bad. Self-interest, don't care about nobody. This is why when she was spitting that ridiculous rhetoric on Fox News that nobody could really take us seriously. You have to think it's something wrong with a person who get married and divorced four times. Okay, I get it the first time. Maybe yeah, I get it. Okay, the second time. Different, different scenario, especially if you have the death of, of, a, of a spouse, but no, she didn't have like natural death she killed the guy's spirits. She was running around killing spirits. Black widow. I get that. There are some extenuating circumstances. I get that. But now nah, hers is just, she's killing these dudes' spirits. And take notice, family. Didn't matter what the ethnicity was. It's her. Yeah, she can't get right. All of that conservative talk that she talks and she lives her life any way but conservative. See, she thought that the conservative route was gonna be a good hustle. And it was for a moment. But what do we say about white supremacy? White supremacy always discards its tools when they're done with them. And they threw Stacey Dash right in the trash where she belongs. She really thought she was doing something when she was on Fox. When they fired her, boy, I wish I could have saw the look on her face when she got that termination notice. Oh, man, it would have been priceless. I would have paid to be there. To see somebody like that go down. See a sellout go down. After all that buck dancing. They still got rid of her. And now. She's going to try to make her move. To find like some type of moderate space. You know. I don't think she'll go straight to the Democrats. She'll try to find a little space in between and then try to slide on in. And some of y'all are going to let her. The men that are attracted to her are despicable to me. I'm just saying, fam, this is what get a lot of dudes in trouble. The 
cute face in, in the butt. Because that's all they see. And they wonder why they have issues in their relationships. Because the women they're choosing ain't got nothing up here. Nothing. It's hollow. They have nothing between their ears. They're just worried about what's between their legs. And look, if that's all you're worried about, you're trying to stick and move or jump off, and that's it, fine. But if you're talking about procreating, you got to be the biggest fool in the world to want to procreate with somebody like Stacey Dash. She has nothing to offer. I can guarantee you her children are going to be messed up. I can guarantee you that they're already messed up. Their mama is messed up. They have nothing to gain by being her children. Zero. And i tell you this, just to be clear. I wouldn't even want anything between her legs because I couldn't even get hard looking at her. Because all I would think about is all the times she sold our people out. All the times she sold my people out. I want to do something to her. I would want to do something to her. I would not want to... And it wouldn't be sex. It'd be the last thing on my mind. I find nothing sexually attractive about her at all. She is cancerous. She has left a trail of despair in every relationship she's ever been in. And she got exactly what she deserved. Another divorce, another man running for his life. So long, Stacy. Have a good trip. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?